Hello and welcome back my lovely ladies and gents. My name is Evelyn Wood and here on this channel we do everything uh, sewing, vintage and fashion and today is a bit of fashion more in line with thrifting and I'm going to show you through my latest thrift haul that I got. Uh, all of these items just came from just a regular just thrift store and there are a few little gifts that I got as well but they all came from the thrift store too so I'm going to show you those because there's some quite cute. Uh, I know like the show and the tell part is just the funnest part of going shopping and I know you all love to see my little bits and pieces uh, that I get, uh, what I plan to do with them and how I incorporate them into my wardrobe and what I might refashion some of the clothing into. <laughs> So here we go, let's start with some patterns first of all. You know I'm a sucker for patterns and I always, you know, I collect them and along with everything. So I have this uh, vintage men's shirt pattern, someone might get lucky and I might make that for them. Uh, this one here, just a dress, I love the little design lines on it. And some uh, old tracing paper, you never know when you're going to need it for, what is it, what is it 50 cents, uh, so it's good, good price. Okay, let's move on to some of the accessories. So I found this cute little uh, like fabric flower. It's on a little hairpin, but I actually think it will look really cute on sort of a 1920s hat. So uh, I definitely snapped that one up because you never know when you're going to need a little flower beret, of course. And then uh, this cute, cute, cute little brooch. This will be when I, you know, go visit the pyramids, obviously, uh, because there's a little camel and there's a little pyramids and a palm tree and the little like dagger sword thing. So it's uh, quite sweet. It's uh, vintage. It's very light plastic. Um, so I'm not sure how old, but you know. Now this was a real little gem. So here we have. So this is a little belt buckle. So this would sit, um, I'll make a little fabric belt and this will be the buckle that it goes on. Super cute, right? So I'm not sure this is actually vintage. I'm pretty sure it's just a reproduction, uh, you know, just to look alike, but it looks very much like the sort of enamel buckles that you find in 20s, 30s. Um, you know, it's just, it's beautiful. So I can't wait to use that one. Definitely on a navy dress, I think for that. And then I got these little clip-on earrings. I shouldn't say little, they're quite big in the red. I actually like them as they are, but would you believe I just, before I went into this shop, I saw some beautiful shoes that had, uh, they were black suede and they had a red heel and then red buckles like this on the side. And I thought, oh, how deco and beautiful does that look? And then I found these little earrings that I thought I could snap off the earring backs and possibly like attach them onto shoes as little shoe clips or something like that. So. But if all else fails, I really like them as earrings, so we'll see what they end up being. Okay, so I love little bangles, but when I wear bangles, I wear them like this. I got that one by mistake. Seems a bit small. Yes, so if you're going to wear bangles, I feel like you have to wear all of the bangles. So usually these are, you know, a few dollars each, in which the case when you get, you know, a hundred like this, it adds up to quite a lot. But these happened to be, they had a sale on and they were selling them for, was it 20 or 50 cents each? So I kind of went to town and got all of them that fit. And often these are usually a bit small um, for me. So uh, all of these ones were big enough to fit over my hands. So adding about, you know, 20 new bangles to my collection. But I think I've got enough now. So as much as I love to wear bangles like this, I can't wear them very often these days because if I'm sewing or filming anything video-like, it's really annoying sound, right? <laughs> and when I'm cutting and things like that, if I'm sewing, it um, is very noisy and they get in the way. And it's, uh, yes, it's purely uh, something to wear for a fun night out Because they make so much noise, now I have to take them off for you. Keep going. 
Okay, next up I got this beautiful uh, leather belt. So it's really soft and flexible and it's navy, which I just love. And it's nice, um, small enough to fit, nice little waisted uh, belt. So uh, I love that. I sort of, it's very vintage looking. So um, I'm really looking for sort of belts like this. Some skinnier ones is what I'm looking for next. Okay, let's get on to the clothing, right? Everyone wants to see the clothing. Okay, I found this uh, here, this little sort of ship on top uh, that I thought what I might do is actually add sort of a little like um, long um, scarf, I guess, scarf like uh, tie to the front to get that sort of 1920s look um, just to wear with like black or white or color. I thought that one would uh, work that way really well. And then I found this uh, cardigan. Now this may be really hard to see, but it's like it's been permanently pleated, all of the fabric. So it's like accordion pleats and it's all crunched in. It's quite unusual. And then it has these cute little fan designs uh, on this the front here. So, and it's just cropped and it just sits like beautiful so unusual so I might actually put some pearls or something through um, on these little fan sections um, it's just a little light uh, cardigan um, it's very unusual I've never seen anything quite like this one okay then I found this adorable little cropped um, knitted uh, little vest so that just will sit through here pretty much this one's going to just be worn as is um, for just a nondescript vintage look Another black unusual top. This one here is kind of a uh, crocheted type fabric, um, if you can see through it. Uh, yeah, so it's just plain v-neck style, but I really like that it's a very unusual fabric. Um, I'll probably wear it over the top and then uh, maybe put a belt around um, the waist area to sort of cinch it in or, um, yeah, so I'm going to play around with this one. I love the sort of unusual textures and fabrics used in this one. And so I found this is something that I don't usually kind of get anything like this anymore. Um, it's a knit dress, um, just a little high scoop neck and it just is quite long. So it's a bit more sort of a 30s kind of length uh, and it has the little ties. Um, so I just thought that this one will just make a great sort of little house dress when you want something really comfortable. Uh, I loved the print on this, this kind of geometric style. So yes, I don't usually uh, buy things like this um, anymore, but this one really struck me from the print and the comfortness um, for something really, really casual like. So you always need those items in your wardrobe. Okay, this one I could not just leave in the store. I found it and I just, the fabric, the print, look at this, hang on. So this green is just to die for. Now you're probably thinking it just looks like a square. Yeah, it kind of does. So um, it actually has, it's sort of like a caftan type style. There's little um, uh, holes through here in which you would insert a belt and it would still sort of flap open like this. But I think what I'll do is actually turn it into a kimono style um, top. So I will cut in an armhole here, straight in, and then come down. So all of this will be gone, but keep the, the little sort of kimono type sleeve. So that's what I think that I'll do with this one. But look at this green, it's just, it's definitely my color. So I had to take this one home with me. Oh, and what I might do with the, uh, from the sides here where I take off uh, this border, that is underneath the sleeve here. So this this here, I might actually turn into a little uh, sort of some sort of collar or a little tie, like a little bow tie or something at the front there, just to really make it look a little sort of a 20s kind of 30s sort of blouse look. Okay, so they're the things that I got for myself. Now there are a few cute little items that I'll show you that I got um, gifted recently uh, from my lovely mum, who knows exactly what I like. So first up is she, this necklace here. So it's um, completely beaded and it's actually got um, proper like diamantes in it rather than just all sequins. And so it would sit sort of up here, but what I plan to do with this is either use it as uh, a sort of decorative collar piece to attach to a dress, a neckline of the dress, 
or looking at it I do quite like it long as a necklace but you know like long down here so I might extend the chain and have it as kind of like a, a dangly um, you know uh, necklace so we'll see what happens with that one okay some really really cute little jewelry so <laughs> this little brooch here is a trumpet it is so cute uh, in the little um, trumpet end is a little diamante. It is just adorable. I've never seen something quite so cute as this little trumpet. So I'll wear that when I go to see big band music, obviously. And then I have these cute, cute little fish earrings. Look at these. These are so cute. So uh, apparently they're probably dolphins rather than fish, but I'm calling them fish. So I love, I just think they're so cute. I love these. Just another pair of clip-on earrings. These ones are in gold, which is great because I don't really have many. And they're just really, really tiny, simple little roses with little diamantes in them. So these uh, little clip-ons will be fantastic to go with just the right outfit. Now, a couple of brooches. These are beautiful. So this one here, it's kind of um, gold and enamel. And it's a little peacock. So um, it's so cute. It's just all my colors. I love peacocks. And then it kind of actually matches um, this one here, another one in the same style. Uh, just very, very deco looking brooch. So I love these to add a little bit of color to outfits and I wear brooches all of the time for so many different things. So always get the beautiful brooches when you go to the thrift store. And just another slip. So I always uh, love these. I love the pretty ones because I wear them mostly under everything pretty much. So it's always good to stock up on those. And then it all came in this beautiful little red container. So it's just very oriental. Um, I love red. Everything in my kitchen is going to be red eventually. And now that's it. That is my thrift haul that I've got recently. So just a few, um, you know, random items, about 400 bracelets. So, you know, uh, let me know in the comments below what your favorite item is. What of these would you have not left the shop with as well? So that I don't feel so bad knowing that uh, I can't help myself bringing things home with me, all my little treasures. So I really hope that you enjoyed watching and giving you a bit of an insight into what I get from my wardrobe and my house um, and what vintage inspired things that you might be able to get uh, to incorporate into your life as well. So thanks so very much for watching and remember like this video if you like it, let me know your favorite, uh, you know, your favorite treasures that I've got below, what you couldn't leave behind. And until next time, bye. So if you're wondering, this is the one making all the noise. Yes, this is my little Esme, whom is camera shy and won't look at you, I'm sorry. Mm.